Hey sellers, did you know the first three search results on Amazon get a whipping average of 68.1% of the click-through rate? That's a huge chunk compared to the rest of the results. As a business owner or as a marketer, you need to understand that success on Amazon heavily relies on understanding and optimizing your click-through rate. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, Product Evangelist at SellerApp and today I'm going to break down everything you need to know about Amazon click-through rate including how to measure it and how to improve it. So here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. So if you're ready to take your Amazon selling game up a notch, let's get started. Essentially, click-through rate is the percentage of shoppers who view your listing or ad on Amazon and then click through to your product page. Since Amazon PPC is pay-per-click, this metric holds a lot of significance for you. Calculating click-through rate is pretty straightforward. It's just the number of clicks your listings or ad receives for every 100 impressions. For example, if you get 5 clicks out of 100 impressions, your CTR would be 5%. Amazon's click-through rate is your go-to metric for checking how your ad campaign keywords or listings are doing. Knowing this stuff is super crucial because it helps you to figure out what's working and what's not. That way, you can make smart, data-driven decisions or where to put your marketing efforts. Another reason why CTR is essential is because it's linked to the Amazon sell-through rate. This rate measures how fast the FBS seller's products are sold. Basically, the rule of thumb is that a higher CTR results in better engagement and more traffic to your listing page. And if you have a great listing, that could lead to the increased sales. Many e-commerce experts agree that the average CTR is around 0.4%, which means only 4 out of 1000 people who see your listings are likely to click on them. But don't worry, you can aim for even better results. A good CTR tends to be around 0.5% or higher. Anything below 0.3% is considered not so good number. To put this into perspective, if 5 or more people out of every 1000 who see your listing clicks on it, this is a good figure. If only 3 or less clicked for every 1000 Amazon impressions, it's not that good. In general, a higher CTR is a good thing, but there are a few exceptions which you will find out in the latter part of this video. A click-through rate that is below 0.3% is seen as a worrying sign. A lower CTR suggests that your listing might not be catching enough attention. But don't worry, there are ways to improve that. If you want that CTR to shoot up, the trick is to have an appealing product listing. When your listing looks enticing, people just can't resist clicking. To make your product listing irresistible, listing optimization is the must. Here's how you can optimize your listings. Use eye-catching images that effectively showcases your product in one glance. Customers want to see exactly what they are getting. Alright, let's break it down with an example. Like uh, you are selling a cool smartwatch. The key here is to make the main image all about the smartwatch. Now, if your smartwatch comes in different colors, don't forget to flaunt those in the main product photo too. Customers love options. Now, if your uh, smartwatch has specific features like being water resistant or having a certain width and length, highlight those essential benefits. It's all about giving the potential buyers the best glimpse of what your product has to offer. Next is craft a precise and keyword rich title that matches your manual ad campaigns. Keep it clear and to the point. A title that's not too lengthy but conveys the essential details works best. Provide thorough and descriptive information about the product you're selling. The more quality information you offer, the better. Quality means it's complete, updated and accurate. Customers appreciate transparency and detailed descriptions. 
If you are looking to boost your conversions and make your listings more discoverable with top-notch professionally crafted copies, we have got your back. The SellerUp team is here to help you out. Just head to the link in the comment section below and we'll definitely take it from there. Next effective method is to use long tail keywords. Now these are more specific keywords related to the products your target buyers are searching for. Customers tend to use long tail keywords when they are close to making a purchase decision. They are especially useful if customers are using the voice search to find out what they want. Now they have lower search volumes but are laser focused on potential buyers further down the conversion funnel. By incorporating long tail keywords, you can increase your click through rate, which in turn improves your product rankings on Amazon. So it's a win win situation. If you are new to selling on Amazon, long tail keywords are particularly beneficial because they often come with lower CPC, that is cost per click, less competition, and a higher buying intent. Now you might be wondering how to find these magical long tail keywords. Well, fear not, I've got you covered. With some helpful tips, take a look at the search term report from your automatic campaigns. Now identify the keywords with three or more words that are generating good sales. Check out Amazon's auto suggest feature. Here you can often find valuable long tail keywords. And if you want to excel your keyword research, try using the seller apps Amazon keyword tool. It can help you to discover the long tail keywords from a seed keyword. Let me show you how. On the SellerApp platform, navigate to the Keyword tool. Under this, we have Keyword Research. It will help you to find the keyword opportunities for your listings. So in this, you can enter any keyword. I'm entering running shoes for men. You'll see that the search results will be displayed on the screen. On the left, you'll find the relevant keywords to the entered keyword. Also, you can find tags against these keywords. So they depict the current trend of these particular keywords on Amazon. And on the right, we have all the amazing metrics based on which these keywords can be evaluated. Additionally, you can track the keywords where you'll be directed towards the keyword targeting under product intelligence feature. There you can analyze them better for a specific period of time. And if they are good to go, then add them to advertising. So within a few clicks, you can add more relevant keywords to your advertising. You can export the data with this tab and copy paste the most relevant keywords list into a new sheet in your Excel spreadsheet. Next is to utilize the reverse ASIN tool like SellerApp. Now to find long tail keywords with good search volume and relevance from competitors listings, in the reverse ASIN tool, you can actually compare your ASIN with your competitors ASIN. I've added two ASINs and now click on compare. The best part about this tool is at a time you can compare your ASIN with three other competitors ASINs. You'll see that the search results are already displayed on the screen. On the left, you'll find the keywords which are present in your ASIN as well as in your competitors ASIN. And on the right, we can see the metrics used to evaluate these keywords. Now this is your ASIN and it is your competitors ASIN. If you consider this example, the search term has good estimated orders per month and good conversion rate as well. But it's present in your competitor's ASIN and not in your ASIN. So this can be that keyword which is, you know, helping them to rank at the top of the Amazon search. So you can directly add them to your advertising or if you want, you can track the keywords where you'll be directed towards keyword tracking under product intelligence feature. There you can analyze them for a specific period of time and if you really feel that they are worth it, then you can add them to your advertising. So this is how convenient this tool is to use. Within a few clicks, you can understand the keyword strategies your competitors are using and accordingly use them into your ads. In this way, you can use the long tail keywords to improve the click through rate of your ads as well as listings. Next, number three is moving high performing keywords from auto to manual campaigns. Now it's a smart move that gives you more control over your ad targeting and can lead to better CTR for your ads. Here's how you can do it. First, head over to your seller central and download the search term report. 
Take a good look at the report to find those search terms in your automatic campaign and you know that have a great CTR and conversion rates. Once you spot these gems, move them from automatic targeting type campaigns to manual targeting type campaigns. So this way you'll be able to fine tune your ad strategy and optimize your results. Don't forget to add these high performing search terms as negative keywords in your automatic campaign. Now this ensures that you won't have to uh, duplicate the ads running, saving you some precious ad spending. Now doing this manually can be a bit time consuming. But guess what? I've got a time-saving solution for you. The SellerApp Advertising Insights tool can make this process 100 times easier. Just log in to the SellerApp dashboard, go to the Advertising, and then click on Insights feature and go to Auto to Manual. There you'll find all the search terms in your automatic campaigns that are doing great. Identify the ones with higher conversion rates and move them to manual campaigns. The best part? Seller app will automatically add them as negative keywords to avoid the duplicates. It's that simple. By regularly repeating this process, you'll build an army of high converting keywords in your manual campaigns. Not only will it save your money on ad spending, but it will also help you make the most out of your ad budget. Next up is improving the keyword targeting. This one is all about reaching the right audience and reducing your overall ad costs. Now, let's say uh, you are selling a fabulous red t-shirt for women on Amazon. You notice that the broad match type keyword will be red t-shirt as a high CTR in your campaign, but the conversion rate is not as impressive. No worries, you can switch that keyword from broad match type to phrase match type in your campaign. By doing this, you will target a more specific audience that is more likely to buy your product. And guess what? Better targeting often leads to a higher click-through rate and a boost in the conversion rates as well. Sounds complicated? It's not. Just log in to your SellerApp dashboard, go to the advertising and then insights and click on target improvement. There, you'll find all the keywords with great performance. Simply select the ones you want to adjust, choose the campaign and ad group, and move the keyword from broad to the phrase or phrase to exact. Easy peasy. Number five is utilize negative keywords in your sponsored product campaigns. Now, negative keywords are a powerful tool that allows you to exclude the irrelevant traffic and focus on the right audience. This can really amp up your click-through rate. Here's how to do it. Take a good look at the search term report from your campaigns. You want to identify search terms that might have good impressions but low CTR and zero sales, or those with high ad spend but no sales, or even high clicks but zero sales. Now, these are the ones you want to add as negative targeting in your campaigns. By doing this, you'll reduce the irrelevant ad clicks and save on unnecessary spending. Now, if you don't want to do this manually, no worries. Let SellerApp handle it for you. Just go to your SellerApp dashboard, click on Advertising, then Insights, and choose the negative search terms. There you'll find the underperforming search terms in your campaigns. Simply click on Mark Negative to add them as negatives for your campaigns. Simple, right? Remember to revisit your negative match types every one or three months to stay up to date with changes in the search patterns. On Amazon, there are three main ad types, sponsored products, sponsored brands, and sponsored display ads. So each type has its own average CTR. Sponsored products usually have a median CTR of around 0.42%. Sponsored brands come in at approximately 0.38% and display ads typically offer higher clicks, hovering at about 1%. Now, ideally, you would want to run all the three types of ads for your products to maximize your CTR. However, we know that not everyone has an unlimited ad budget. So here's a suggestion. If you're working with a limited daily ad budget and want to get the most out of it, focus on running sponsored product ads for your best-selling products. Now, this way you can achieve a higher CTR overall and make the most of your resources. Number seven, pay attention to ad placement. Now, just like the type of ad you use, where your ad appears on the page can make a huge difference in your click-through rate. 
So if you find your CTR isn't high as you would like it to be, don't jump to conclusions that your product isn't attractive enough. It might just be a matter of ad placement. So here's the deal. Ads placed at the top of the search always tend to get a higher CTR than uh, those which are elsewhere on the page. Let's face it, not many customers bother scrolling down past the middle of the page. So if your sponsored ad is uh, you know, chilling at the bottom, chances are that it's not getting the attention it deserves. To tackle this, it's crucial to optimize your PPC strategy and adjust your bids higher. This way, you increase your chances of getting that coveted top of search placement. It might take some tweaking, but it's worth it to get your ad in front of more eyes. Number eight is conduct A to B testing on your ad. It's like running an experiment to see what works best for your target audience. While optimizing your display ads, it can be uh, challenging to figure out the perfect ad creative tone of voice or even headline that resonates with your customers. That's where A-B testing comes in. Here's how you do it. Try out different headlines and images for your sponsored brands and product display ads to see which ones engage customers the best. Use calls to action then top performing keywords and attractive wordings to entice the customers to click. Choose two different headlines for your A-B test. One could be a descriptive title describing the product while the other is a snappy call to action. Run both the versions for about two weeks and keep an eye on which one generates the highest click-through rate. Next is experiment with a few different photos to see which ones get the most hits. For example, a clear product photograph on a white backdrop might outshine a brand logo. A-B testing allows you to fine-tune your ad and discover what works best for your audience. So don't be afraid to try out different approaches and find the winning combination. Number nine is use coupons and discount offers. Who doesn't love a good deal, right? You can add promotional badges to your Amazon ad showcasing any coupons or discount offers available for your product. When customers spot these savings, they're more likely to click on your ad out of curiosity and to take advantage of the deal. Discount offers paired with your ad campaigns can generate even more interest can lead to higher CTRs. Everyone loves to save money, so take advantage of this powerful incentive and attract potential buyers. Number 10, create a highly engaging storefront. Your product page is like an online storefront and just like a physical store, a well-designed and visually appealing product page can make a world of difference. Imagine walking into a store with dull colors and a boring layout. You probably wouldn't be too excited to explore what they have to offer. The same applies to your product page. A beautifully designed and captivating product page can lead to higher click-through rates and directly impact your sales and overall business. When customers see your engaging storefront that are more likely to click on your ads, and that's not all. A good design can create a positive cycle attracting more click-throughs over time. Now, plus, Customers are more likely to engage with a visually pleasing storefront, which can lead to positive reviews. And as we'll see in the next strategy, positive reviews play a crucial role in your Amazon PPC success. Number 11 is positive reviews. Online reviews are a powerhouse when it comes to building trust with potential buyers. Research shows that a whipping 84% of shoppers trust online reviews just as much as personal recommendations, and 91% read reviews regularly or occasionally. Why are reviews so essential? They create trust and transparency in the shopping experience. So positive reviews can significantly influence a buyer's decision, especially when they are unfamiliar with a brand or product. They provide the much needed social proof that assures customers they are making a good choice. Whether you are selling high-end goods, functional products or clothing items, positive reviews can work wonders for your Amazon PPC strategy. They not only impact your brand reputation but also directly affect your sales. Positive reviews can be the tipping point that converts a customer or makes them feel confident in choosing your brand. 
not only are reviews critical to customers but they are also crucial to your amazon business as a whole the number of positive reviews you receive can influence your amazon seo as they are factored into amazon search results number 12 is optimize your price price plays a crucial role in both your click through rate and conversion rate sure you might have set a competitive price but it's also essential to make it enticing enough for people who click through your ad small changes in pricing can have a significant impact ctr and conversion rates can vary greatly between ending of the price in 1.95 dollars and 1.99 dollars or between 29.99 dollars and 30.99 dollars it's all about finding that sweet spot where your price drives both clicks and sales even a few cents can make all the difference number 13 is badges just like people who win trophies get more attention sellers who earn or one of Amazon's prestigious badges get noticed too. These badges are like symbols of excellence that Amazon places on product pages and ads. They indicate a seller or brand's quality products, outstanding service or exceptional sales performance. When your Amazon ad features a product with a badge, it's more likely to generate higher click-through rates. Amazon offers a different types of badges and each one of them holds its own significance. First is bestseller. This badge is based on a product sales and gets updated early. It's highly coveted yet challenging to obtain, so it's a symbol of remarkable success. Amazon's choice. It is awarded to fulfillment by Amazon sellers who offer high quality products and have relevant keywords set for their Amazon ads. This badge signals that Amazon itself recommends the product. Next is new release. This badge is for products that experience high sales velocity during the first 90 days of being listed. It's a way to highlight newly popular items. Having these badges on your product page or ad can add a layer of credibility and trust for potential customers. It's like a seal of approval from Amazon itself. The higher the amount of ad traffic and clicks you get, the more likely you will make a sale on Amazon. Therefore, it is essential to increase the click-through rate for Amazon business. By adjusting your click-through rate within a campaign, you can make your ad more relevant to each shopper's search query. That can increase the conversion and let you monitor the direct impact of the advertisements on your whole business. Now, if you want to improve your CTR and lower your Amazon advertising costs, try out some of the tips I've shared in this video. And if you need help getting started or how to optimize your product listings and maximize CTRs for all your Amazon campaigns, don't hesitate to reach out to us or our PPC experts on support at sellerapp.com. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to SellerApp. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. And as always, happy selling!